this. The hopefully Dr. Wei understands it. After starting at NC State, Nicholas Diosaran transferred to UNC Wilmington because of the new coastal engineering program. So I looked around to see what other engineering's there were. And so UNCW had this new coastal engineering program. I was like, huh, that sounds interesting. Let me look into that. Growing up in Trinidad and Tobago, he was well aware of the impact of coastal erosion at an early age and now wants to be a part of the solution on the North Carolina coast. Sea level rises every year. Uh, we have crazy climate. Look at the hurricanes we've been having the last couple of years. Uh, look at Louisiana has just been bombarded with hurricanes for the past year. Dr. Joseph Long is the director of the Coastal Engineering Program at UNC Wilmington. He says the program is preparing students to address the needs of coastal communities in the midst of climate change. Long says with the issues facing our coastline, there's a growing demand to build a coastal engineering workforce. When we think about coastal resilience and we think about we need to prepare, we need to adapt, we need to bounce back, we need to learn from that and adapt better and bounce back faster. And so it's, it's a loop and we're continually learning more and these students are being equipped with skills in terms of field measurements and modeling techniques. Um, and we really try to present them with the, the big view of the problems that they need to solve. For students like Ashley Holesclaw, the program allows her to take part in field research. And she now views the beach in a brand new way. I can define the different parts of the beach. I can look and see what is going on, kind of tell like what the tides are, what um, different processes are happening with like longshore transport and all of that kind of stuff. So I find it really cool just being aware or being able to process what is going on around me. The Coastal Engineering Program also recently scored a grant to study how barrier islands will be impacted by climate change in future storms. Most of the work is focused on Masonboro Island, where students and faculty will research the erosion and recovery cycles of barrier islands. We are witness to nourishments that go on. We are witness to the storm impacts to these islands. And our students go to those beaches and they collect measurements. You know, this, this is the place for them to get both the classroom and the hands-on experience. And so um, I think I venture to say they'll hopefully be more well prepared than I was when I entered the field because I didn't have all of those opportunities. It's work that makes students like Nicholas Diosaran excited about coming up with solutions to some of the challenges our coastlines are facing. What excites me about the future, about continuous work, is that knowing that I'm going to be making a huge impact with helping, uh, either assisting with sediment transport, uh, erosion, trying to mitigate all of those things, knowing that I'm helping instead of just like doing research and just moving on. Like I actually want to be in the field working and fixing it, fixing the issues.